Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video I will explain T3 and T4 thyroid hormone synthesis and provide overview on feedback inhibition. So let's get started. In my previous video I discussed the overview of thyroid hormone production. Link for my previous video is in the description. Briefly. The neuron nucleus located in the hypothalamus produces thyrotrophin releasing hormone abbreviated as TRH. TRH travels to anterior pituitary through a special type of venous system known as hypophyseal portal. The anterior pituitary has special type of endocrine cells known as thyrotrope cells which detects TRH and gets activated. The activated thyrotrope cells produces a glycoprotein molecule known as thyroid stimulating hormone, which is abbreviated as TSH. TSH produced by thyrotrope cells is poured into the blood. The TSH circulating in blood reaches thyroid gland and activates this endocrine gland which will produce triiodothyronine and thyroxine which are abbreviated as T3 and T4 respectively. To know the exact mechanism for the production of T3 and T4 it is necessary to understand the structure and function of thyroid gland. Thyroid gland consists of thyroid follicles which are small spherical groupings of cells known as thyroid follicular cells that play the main role in thyroid function. The central core of thyroid follicle is called lumen which is gelatinous, viscous, and rich in iodine. The exterior of thyroid follicle can directly interact with blood. Synthesis of the thyroid hormones by thyroid follicle is explained here with the animation. Thyroglobulin is synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum of the thyroid follicular cells and follows the secretory pathway to enter the colloid in the lumen of the thyroid follicle by exocytosis. Thyroglobulin is a 660 kilo Dalton dimeric protein. Each thyroglobulin molecule contains approximately 100 to 120 tyrosine residues. Meanwhile, a sodium iodide symporter pumps iodide, that is I minus, actively into the cell, which previously has crossed the endothelium by largely unknown mechanisms. This iodide enters the follicular lumen from the cytoplasm by the transporter pendrin, in a purportedly passive manner. In the colloid, iodide, that is I-, is oxidized to iodine, that is I-0, by an enzyme called thyroperoxidase. Next process is catalyzed by the enzyme thyroperoxidase where tyrosine residues in the protein thyroglobulin are iodinated on their phenol rings, at one or both of the positions ortho to the phenolic hydroxyl group yielding peptidic monoiodotyrosine, that is MIT, and diiodotyrosine, that is DIT, respectively. The next process that takes place is known as coupling, where two peptidic DIT couples to yield peptidic T4, that is still peptide-bound precursor of thyroxine, and coupling one molecule of MIT and DIT yields peptidic T3, the comparable precursor of triiodothyronine. If you want to know more about the structures of MIT, DIT, T3 and T4 go to my previous video and you would find its link in the description. Thyroglobulin re-enters the follicular cell by endocytosis. The endocytose vesicles fuse with the lysosomes of the follicular cell. The lysosomal enzymes cleave the T3 and T4 from the iodinated thyroglobulin. The thyroid hormones cross the follicular cell membrane towards the blood vessels by an unknown mechanism. Textbooks have stated that diffusion is the main means of transport, but recent studies indicate that monocarboxylate transporter 8 and 10 play major roles in the efflux of the thyroid hormones from the thyroid cells. In the blood T3 and T4 binds to a protein known as thyroid binding protein and travels in the bloodstream. The amount of T3 and T4 produced is highly regulated by the feedback inhibition. Briefly. TRH and TSH is produced by neuron nucleus and thyrotrope cells respectively. These molecules has to be regulated in order to control the activity of thyroid gland. T3 and T4 has different function. T4 is more potent to trigger feedback inhibition whereas T3 is more potent thyroid hormone in performing action related to metabolic functioning. Overproduction of T4 with inhibit the TRH and TSH is produced by neuron nucleus and thyrotrope cells respectively which will slow down the activity of thyroid gland. This mechanism is called negative feedback. 
After T3 and T4 is produced by thyroid gland it will travel in blood after binding to thyroid binding protein and reaches the target tissue to induce desired effect. In my next video I will be discussing the mode of action of thyroid hormones at the target level. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to LAE if you like my video. Feel free to share this video.